So one of the co-founders, Cenk Uger, has stepped down from the Justice Democrats, and the other co-founder, Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk, has responded, giving a statement on what happened, and you're going to be seeing what he says, but basically what he's going to say is there was the whole staff that basically was, uh, you know, talking about it, and they said, they basically told Kyle, hey, it's us or Jank. So if you keep Jank on, you're going to have to get a whole new staff, or you keep us and then you get rid of Jank as, a, as the face of it. So if that is really the case, then I think that Kyle made the right move not overriding them, because especially with the elections, um, you know, coming in, we're going to, you know, it'd be really difficult to get a new staff and basically have a whole restart. But we're going to see. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But you guys will be able to see it here. Check it out. Everybody, the mechanics of what happened. So when people on the staff saw these things that he said, um, the overwhelming majority of them said, basically, look, it, it's him or us. So either he steps down as a face uh, of the movement, because a face of the movement should have said these things about women under no circumstances. Um, so it's either him or us. Either, you know, he stays, in which case you need an entire new staff to do all the difficult infrastructure work. Um, or he goes as a public face of the movement and the staff stays and we continue doing all the, all the infrastructure work and all the work necessary to move forward. Now, Jank handled this in as mature a way as possible. Because Jank said, listen, I this isn't about me. This was never about me. This is about the candidates. This is about the policies that they're fighting for. So I'm going to... He offered his resignation. He offered. He said, okay, I'm going... Given the the reaction that this is causing uh, in the staff, this isn't a hard decision. I I will voluntarily resign, and um, you know you guys can keep fighting on, and I'll support you from outside the organization. The Justice Democrat statement that announced his resignation uh, wasn't cordial. It was framed in a very venomous way, and in a way I don't agree with. They intimated that Jenk was uh, sexist and racist, and they said uh, Jenk is part of the patriarchy. I don't agree with that. They said that he abused his power like other officials, which implies that there's some sort of a parallel or a comparison between Jenk and guys like Representative Conyers or Jenk and Al Franken. I reject that implication, and I reject that comparison. I don't agree with that at all. Uh, in a retweet, they even implied that his words and actions, quote, perpetuate rape culture. I couldn't disagree with that any more strongly than I do. Uh, even if you agree with the harshest interpretation of Jenks' comments, they were made 18 years ago, and for over a decade, he's come to be the polar opposite kind of person. In fact, um, Jank has run his company and a newsroom for over a decade, and there have been a grand total of zero complaints made against him. So, I am, I am on the board member. Uh, I am on the board of Justice Democrats, and I was faced with a decision among the other board members. I'm not the only person. Um, I either override the majority, the overwhelming majority of the staff, in which case I'm undemocratic, uh, or I don't try to override the overwhelming majority of the staff, in which case, on some level, I'm being spineless. Um, I didn't have the power or the leadership authority to look at the overwhelming majority of the staff and say, I'm not going to take your concerns to heart and I'm going to have Jenk stay on. Nor did Jenk say, listen, I don't care. I'm going to override the will of the overwhelming majority of the staff and I'm going to stay on. So for this reason, 
um, of strong differences, strong disagreements with the staff, I'm going to be stepping down from Justice Democrats. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below. Leave a like and share the video. Help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.